For one last time, welcome to Tartu in Estonia. Uh, Tartu hosting the 2023 European Open Classic Powerlifting Championships. We've come to the final day of six. It's been five days of wonderful competition so far. And Joe Whiteley, I'm sure we can expect more of the same today. I don't know if we can beat the finish we had last night, though. Indiraj Singh pulling an incredible world record of 395.5 to win on body weight. Yeah, not just that performance, which was absolutely wonderful, but the battle right through from the squats to the bench press and then those final deadlifts. It was quite, quite incredible. If you haven't seen it for whatever reason, everyone in powerlifting is talking about it. Get onto the EPF um, YouTube page and have a look at it. It was quite marvelous. Of course, we had a great 76 competition running alongside that as well. And what we have for you today is the final three events of these marvelous championships so well hosted by Estonia. In the first session this morning, we have the under 84s and over 84s as two back-to-back -back flights. And then in the afternoon, the final session will be the men's 120 plus. And you can see on your screens Marilyn Yuriado from Estonia. And she will be taking 145 kilos for her opener. And that is what the bar will be loaded to. So we have the 84 kilo class kicking us off. And the second flight will be the super heavyweight, 84 plus. No B flights today. All battling for medals. Bars loaded, 145 kilos, Juriado, Estonia. Although indeed we did see B-flight competitors on the platforms throughout the week. And we had one on the overall podium yesterday. So this is Juriado, Estonia, to get the final day of competition underway. That looks like a nice start. Yeah, she's uh, a long way down from the best. I can see that she's squatted 180 before. Ah, oh, that was equipped. I was going to say that's a long way away, wasn't it? Yeah, she's done 180 equipped. And 150 is her best in the raw. Also from Estonia, Sylvia Kirilov. And she is also opening on 145. This is her first international competition. So there will be a not lot of nerves here. And still a junior, but only for about another three weeks. Brought that up well. And that's a pretty good squat to open your international lifting Three career. Lifts. Three oh, wide lights. Now Anna kronborg Har from Denmark. 165 kilos. Nikki Lentz in her corner today. Well, she's been coaching and cheering everyone else on all week. And now it's her turn. Squatted 182 and a half at uh, in Malta at the World Championships. Nice and deep, nice and smooth. And three white lights. I almost gave the lights before the referee. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be hard to find anything wrong with that squad. Now, Giada Palma from Italy, 172.5 kilos on the bar. This is Giada. Just had a quick chat with her before we started okay. off. Oh, 
Oh, it's lovely. I thought I recognised the name. She was junior world champion in 21 in Halmstad. Three white lines, good lift. Now, Katja Jürgensen from Denmark, 175 kilos on the bar. Now, we've seen her lift a fair few times. She's been on the podium at the Euros before. But we have a stacked class here today. Absolutely. Oh, that's a good opener. 175, exactly three red plates in the collar, either side of a 20 kilo bar. Now, Eleanor Stenson from Sweden, 175 kilos for her as well. 175 kilos, Svensson, Sweden. Absolutely tight under the bar. Get another lifter with a fair bit of international experience. Bronze medalist in Vasteras. That looks good, yeah. PB of 198 we have for her. Although sometimes your information is more up to date. Now, Temi Nuga, Great Britain, 190 kilos. One of two Brits we have in this class, oh, Temi oh, Nuga and Ziana Azariah have Temi been going Nuga backwards and Brazil. forwards for a little while now. <laughs> Ziana beat Temi by only two and a half kilos at the World Championships. Temi had the biggest deadlift in British powerlifting for a while. We've got some big deadlifters these days though. Oh, it's nice and smooth. That's nice to see. She, was, uh, she wasn't very well a couple of weeks ago, like I think most of Europe. Um, she was uh, quite ill, missed yeah. a bit of training. So good to see that going yes, well. Yes, I was talking to her two or three days ago, and basically she hasn't, she's feeling fine now, but she hasn't trained for a couple of weeks. Now, you were speaking about our uh, British competitor. This is Ziana Azaria, Great Britain. 202.5 kilos. Now, things are clearly going very well for her. She did tour 7.5 in Malta, so she's opening very close to that. Yeah, PB has moved up to 210.5. I think that was at the British Championships. Oh, it's a super squad. Moving well today. I'm just taking a look at where that 210 was. You're quite right, it was at the British in March. Now, Kristen Thorhals daughter from Iceland, 205 will end the first round. This morning, her name means Thor's stone daughter. That's quite a name for a powerlifter. Isn't it? She was European champion in 21. But last year she just missed out to Agatha Shitko. What didn't Agatha Shitko win last year? a lovely squat as well. And that's why she's the European record holder in squat. 
Stands at 2.30 at the moment. And that's the end of the first round. Everyone has a good lift. Everyone is in the competition. And there we have the standings at the end of the first round. Just uh, in reverse order as to how they came out. Torhold's daughter leads from Azaria and Nuga. Jurgensen, the best of the rest. Now this is Marilyn Uriado coming out for the second round. 152.5 kilos. Looks good. And three white lights. Great squad. It gives her a lot of room to move up. So this is also from Estonia. Sylvia Kirilov. And she's also going 152.5 kilos. Only been competing for a year, according to her information. Still a junior, but not for very much longer. Anyone who's 23 will cease to be a junior on the 1st of January. Oh, she stepped it back in, didn't she? I think so. And that is? Yeah. I'm sorry, no lift. No lift. You have to wait for the rack command. And she didn't. And I guess that's what happens when you've only been competing for up to a year. You don't have that experience. But she'll never do it again in her life. Oh, no, absolutely. Now, uh, Kromber Carr. 172.5 for Denmark. Oh, that looks good. Solid second attempt there. And three white lights. Now you say it's Jada, is it, Joe? Yeah. Jada Palma, Italy. 180 kilos, which equals the PB I have for her. Had to work? Yeah, a little bit of work just at the top. Nobody ever said it was easy. Well, let's face it, no matter how strong you are, these are big weights. Katja Jorgensen, Denmark. Two Danes, two Estonians and two Brits in this flight. Hello. With lifters from Iceland, Italy, and Sweden. Now, Martin, I've made the mistake of looking ahead at projected totals <laughs> in the second round of squats, which is a bit early to be looking at it. But I'm a bit shocked to see that Torhal's dot here is projected in third. Yeah. Behind the two Brits. And she was nominated a long way in front. But we've got a long way to go before we start looking at totals. Oh, she's having to fight. Come on, come on. She's oh, a yes. Fighter, though. Wow. But you have to wonder where she's going to go for a third. <laughs> uh, go for a rest, perhaps? Maybe so. Lifters tend not to do that, and sometimes you wish they would. Now, Eleanor Spenson, 
She's taking 185 kilos, PB of 198. Nice step. Oh, again, they're having to really work in these second round squats. I think that's good. There might be another two and a half there, but I wouldn't go five. But it's three white lights now. Temi Nuga, 200 kilos on the bar. Well, I have a PB, it's 200. Yep, she tried 202.5 at the British, didn't quite come off, but she did hit 200 for her third attempt in Malta. Well, if she gets this, the rest will have done her no harm at all. I think that's the message we take. New European champion there, Sophia Ellis in the wings. Oh, very nice. Wow. As you say, that, that rest came up really definitely well. didn't do her any harm. And she's into PB territory now. Well, she got one red from ah. the referee on the far side. And I'm afraid I didn't pick up where he's from. I know he's sitting in an exam. So we have a three-man jury here. And if they are all in agreement, they can open a 2 to one decision. And I'm just keeping an eye on them, but I think they're fine. That's good. Yeah, I think Temi's second was almost identical to her first. Now, Torhold's daughter. What did you say? Thor's stone daughter? Yep. Wow. Couldn't have a better name for... Oh, there is one. Ellie Steele, the British lifter. That's also a fantastic name for a power lifter. Wow. Great squad. No. Oh, wow. Two so yellows. yellows. Oh, she jumped the rat command. We don't always hear the referee's commands uh, where we are, but she just steps yeah. it forward. Oh, she'll be devastated by that. She's such an experienced lifter. And it's just Ziana Azaria. 215 kilos last out in the second round. This is more than she has attempted on the platform before. 12 and a half kilo jump from what was admittedly an easy opener, mm -hmm. but her best ever squat before this was uh, 210.5 kilos at the British Championships in March. Now this will match the British record. Most of the British records in this class are set by uh, our junior wunderkind, Errol of Isabodo John, who's smashing everything at the moment. Oh, that's a great squad. Well, British record attempt wow. incoming for a third. And more important, three wide lights, more importantly, more there. Also, so Hal's not here missing her second. That really opens the door for the two Brits. Because she's really obliged to take it again, and she just gave it away. Yeah. So there's the standings at the minute with Azariah on 215, Tohal's.205, Nuga 200. Into the third round, and it's Kirilov. She missed 152.5. She beat the command, if I remember correctly, yep. so she's gone up. As we say, she'll probably never ever miss beat the command again in her life. Oh, 
Oh, oh well. nearly went west in the middle <laughs> there. Three white lights and a good lift. Three five. white lights. Very happy. Now Marilyn Uriado. Big PB coming up if she makes this. They've seen that Jurgensen has scratched her third attempt, which I think is reasonable. Yes. She was right uh, on the limit with that 185. And I wish more people would do that. Because now she'll be fresh for the bench. She won't be coming in with her last lift being a fail. Oh, oh she wow. fights it up and she smiles. Three white lights, I hope. Three white lights. And she's been coached by the young Estonian uh, Michael, who sat his cat too earlier in the week. Now, Anna Kronborg Haar is next, 177.5. What a great fight. Perfectly judged third attempt. Three one lights. At the end of this round, we move straight on to the 84 plus. Giada Palma. Italia, 185 for a new personal best. Oh, great squad. Now Svensson takes 190, not quite at her best ever today. Her PB is 198. Bars loaded, 190 kilos, Oh, it's a great squad as well. She smiled halfway up. Put the depth absolutely beyond doubt. And three white lights. Temi Nuga. Coming out for 207.5, which I think is a big PB, Joe. The most she's done in competition for is 200. She has attempted 202.5 once, didn't quite make it at the British, but that was way back in March. My co-commentator back in Lithuania in 2019, she stood in in the very final session. Okay. For seven and a half kilos more than she's ever done before. Oh, it's looking good. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, that was so, so close. A kilo less would have gone. That's, that's really tough. 
I thought she had it. Do you know what? That is the first fail of the whole class if you take out the two infractions for racking too early. Look how long she fought that for. I know. Hopefully she didn't empty the tank too much. She's a big deadlifter. Now, this is one of the two that incurred the wrath of the referees for not waiting for the rack command. So she's forced to retake the 215 and may have given away well, she has given away the gold medal as a result. She's in uh, second place on body weight behind Azaria, only 70 grams. But She could have gone up, of course, but that is a risky move. Yeah, with the bigger picture in view. That's three, three wide. Three. Three. Well, the bigger picture right now puts her in third, which is um, quite shocking. She was nominated a long way in front. She's got a bigger bench than the, the Brits, but they both have massive deadlifts, especially this lady. So this is Azaria. She is the gold medalist already, courtesy of that 70 grams. But this is to win the squad by five kilos and take the British record back from Errol of Isabodo John big lift here in every sense she's working oh she yes smashed Z. that wow fantastic three wide lights That what was very impressive. What a great competition. And we can't even dwell on it because we move straight to the 84 plus. Well, yes, we can dwell on it. There's the results. Azaria wins with 220. Torhol's daughter is second with 215, having to retake her second. Teminuga equals her PB to take the bronze with 200 kilos. Maya Vaha from Malta is the first of seven lifters to come out in the 84 plus. Her first international was on home turf at the World Championships in Malta. She squatted 140 that day. Oh, well, that's nice. Really smooth. And the next weight in the bar will be 162.5 kilos for Marat Jurma from Estonia. First international. It's a great opportunity for the national team when the European or World Championship comes to town. And we've seen that from Malta. We've, I don't think we've ever seen Maltese lifters before. We were in Malta, and now they've brought a full team this, this well, week. Well, I've never, I've been doing the European since 2015. I've never commentated on a Maltese lifter before, but as you say. And that's the benefit of the World Championships or the European Championships coming to your hometown. It really generates a lot of interest. And good it's one, two to one, good lift. Got a red for depth from the center referee today, who is from Latvia. Now, Christina Waterhouse from Switzerland is next. 167.5 kilos. British name, she is actually British. Living over in Switzerland now. And the jury has overruled the last lift, sided with the uh, centre referee and called it on depth. And that was Yurma. Looked nice from here. And three whites, yeah. 
Now, yeah, Ubong Idem from Hungary, 175 kilos. In Hungary, the names are often presented reversed, so her first name is Ubong. Yes, Mata Eric told me that. Yes. <laughs> She's American, she's studying in Hungary at the moment. Squatted 190 in Malta. Oh, that was oh, fast. Wow. That was the Don't Blinker, You'll Miss It variety. Lovely and deep. And so fast back up and three wide lights. Look at the speed of that. Now Matilda Hjala from Sweden. This lady has a massive bench press. She benched 155 in Malta, and that was only the silver medal, which is just incredible. Easy. No, but not the golden dip by both side referees. Parallel, but not yeah. quite through. And I'm just thinking a couple of the lifters that uh, Sunita had such a big battle with last year in Poland and here this year. I'm thinking particularly Five Emily Leach Sweden. of Sweden. Yeah, I'm not sure that I saw that she uh, wasn't lifting now. Really? Uh, I'm, I may be getting confused with someone else, but I think I saw that. So this is Annalena Belkvist, 232.5 kilos. She squatted 250 in Malta. Absolutely incredible numbers. Yeah, PB's 252.5. Yep, that was the year before in Sun City. Oh, that's a good squat. Three wide lights. Now, Sonita Mula, Belgium. She's been in the venue all week supporting everyone else. And now it is her turn on the platform. And who can forget the incredible battle she had at the World Championships with Benika Brown and the ultimate winner, Brittany Slater. But they broke the squat world record between them oh, was five times. I was watching at home and I was thinking, this is insane. Speaking of insane, she squatted 290 in the gym a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> but I think she has another competition coming up, so I think uh, we might not see her at her full potential yeah. today. 240 is a very easy squat for Sunita. I think she'll do enough to win. Yep. Her world record right now is 285.5. <laughs> That's just ludicrously fast. Four white lights. <laughs> <laughs> Should definitely get a bonus one for that. And a uh, quick uh, summary. Uh, we can see that uh, Mula, Mulu leads with 240. Belkvist, an excellent 232.5. Um, Idem, the best of the rest two still to register a lift one as a result of a jury overrule this is Baja from Malta
she was good with 135 adding another 10 kilos take it to 145 And I've yeah, we I, was hesitated. I was silent, so I just didn't want to call it high and then see three whites, but I, I think we just suspected that was a little bit north of what is required. Now, Marit Yorma, this was the jury overturn. Over. So it just needs to go centimeter or so deeper and all should be well representing Estonia oh that's better three white lights no, Christina Waterhouse. Opened in one six seven point five, taking it up ten to one seven seven point five to within two and a half kilos of oh, her sorry, personal best. Kilos, Waterhouse, Switzerland. Uh, she brought that up well. Three and lights. it's three, three white lights. Now, Ubong Idem from Hungary. Can she possibly be as fast or will the extra 10 kilos slow her down? PB is 190. This is only five kilos away from that. This will move up to third on squats with three lifters still to go in the second round. Wow. Of course it's slowed her down slightly, but still fast three squad. Light three white lights. Two ten on the bar now for Matilda Fiala of Sweden. Second attempt at this weight shall be followed by Belfast and Buller. Now Matilda Kiala missed two ten first time. Yellow. Yellow. As in the colour. <laughs> yes, I have tr <laughs> trouble with Norwegian vowel sounds and Swedish consonants. But I checked with her before the competition, Yilla. Yeah, the weight was certainly no issue for her first time around. Just needs to go a little deeper. That looks good from this side. Yeah, I was just hesitating because the last one looked good to me as well. And but that's three white lights. Everyone is on the board. Now, Belkvist. And Belkvist taking 242.5. 10 short of her PB. Bars loaded. 242.5 kilos for Belkvist, Sweden. She's very smiley, totally unstressed, going out to the bar. Well, she's a big squatter. She's got a massive deadlift as well. Oh, that's 
It's a great squad. 3 wide lights. Now Sonita's taking it up to 260 kilos. Still, this is an everyday training session for Sunita. Looking serene and composed. Coach Michael and uh, Yaron in the background. She was the gold medalist last year. I think we can expect her to be the gold medalist this year unless something goes very wrong. What a great competition that was 12 months ago. He barely slowed her down. Three white lights. And at the end of the second round, uh, Sonita Muller leads with 260 kilos. Annalena Belkvist is in second place with a fantastic 242.5. Yala from Sweden is in third with 210 kilos. And into the third round we go. And it's uh, Maya Vaha from Malta. She missed 145 on depth, if I remember correctly. Um, and she's decided to take it up to 150 kilos. Depth look better. It's on the board and it's which side? It's on the right side. Three wide lights. Now Marit Jurma, Estonia. Missed her opener. Went up two and a half kilos and got it second time. Now 172.5. Got a first one overturned by the jury. Didn't she miss the rack command, or was that from the 84s? I think that was the under 84s. Yeah, it was uh, jury overturned for depth in the first. But that looks good, no questions there. And a brief sigh of relief that it's not three <laughs> reds, it's in fact three white lights. Christina Waterhouse from Switzerland coming out to take. 187.5 for a seven and a half kilo personal best. she find the extra seven and a half kilos she needs for that PB I'm not absolutely certain about I the depth I think we'll wait so the so referees and now there's almost a primal instinct that makes you do that when you've got a weight you've never done in competition before this is um, Ubong Idem from Hungary, 195. This for a new PB. 
Will we see the fastest PB ever? Surely 195 must slow her down a little bit. Oh, it must do. Slowed her down on the way up, not on the way down, but she gets it. Made really good use of the stretch yeah. reflex at the bottom. Three wide lights. Just had a moment of uncertainty halfway up. And is now within touching distance of the Magic 200. Now Matilda Yella from Sweden out next. And she was smiling backstage, appreciating the previous lift. And here she comes herself. 220 kilos just two and a half kilos short of her PB which she would probably have hoped to have gone past the day had she not had to retake her opener <laughs> that was tough <laughs> it looked in doubt for a second but she got it moving again Three white lights. Now, Annalena Belkvist, Sweden, is taking 250. Again, within two and a half kilos of her best ever lift. Can't believe, believe we're nearly through the squats. I was just looking at the time. Yeah, there's two to go. And then we go to a break and come back and do it all again in bench press. Been really good with her first two. Can she make it three for three? No. no. I think she may even have gone slightly deeper that time than the first two. Yeah, just lost control at the bottom, really. Now, Mula's taken it up to 275 kilos. Can you believe that this isn't even a European record? I mean, it was the world record not so long ago, wasn't it? Yeah. 275 kilos. The sport is just going to a different Belgium. level. And Mula is one of those taking it there. Her European and world record is 285.5. But she moved 260 like an empty bar. Oh, how well did that come up? Three wide lights. Absolutely superb. Masterclass in squatting from Sunita Mulu. And let's just go to a quick summary. As you've seen, uh, Sunita Mulu gets squat gold with 275. And, and there was far more there had she wanted it. Belfast, don't dismiss it. 242.5 because of Mula. That oh, is a huge. fantastic lift. And Yella from Sweden takes the bronze with 220. We'll go to a short break. Join us again in about nine minutes' time for the bench press.
And welcome back to the final day of the 2023 European Open Classic Powerlifting Championships from Tartu in Estonia. If you've been with us earlier, you will have seen the under and over 84 kilo classes lifting back to back in squat. And uh, just a reminder of where we are going into the bench press, Azaria leads with 220 from Torhol's daughter with 215. Nuga 200 and of course Torhal's daughter she <coughs> she missed the rack command so she gave away her second squat and is now trailing widely anticipated to be the leader in the class yeah that could be very costly come the final round of deadlifts but uh, in the meantime bench press and this is Sylvia Kirillov from Estonia and she is opening at 72.5 kilos. Junior lifter in her first year of competition. And that looks good. And we wait for the third referee's light. And still we wait. Finally, three white lights. Now, Eleanor Svensson from Sweden will open with 87.5 kilos. She hit 97 and a half in Malta. Oh, that's nice and easy. Solid. I wonder will we see her hit 100 for the first time today. I was wondering the same, but 87 and a half all the way up to 100. Mm, there's some quite big jumps. Now, Yuriado is a sub-junior. She's only 17 years of age. And she's opening with 90 kilos. Ninety is her current best. She did that at the European Juniors. I don't think it's going to be the best no. by the end of today. That was very fast. Three wide, wide lights. Oh, you know she Two has the sub junior world record in deadlift. So wow! We look forward to that. Now, Anna Kronbukar from Denmark, 92.5 kilos, just five kilos below her personal best. Making good progress. She did 92.5 last year in uh, Poland, 95 in Malta. That was a great lift. And we might see a hundred from her today. Now Ziana Azaria. Is it Azaria or Azaria? Azaria. She had a great day on squats. New British record for her. Well, she's opening within two and a half kilos of her bench PB as I have it, although it may have moved since then. 
Just taking a quick look, she did one or two and a half in Malta, so I think that's bang on. And she's opening at 100 today. Oh, well, she struggled to get her moving once she did. It was fine. She gets a yellow. Oh, so. No, we've seen before this week. If we get a side view of the replay, we might get a chance to see. No, there's no butt lift there. No. So I'm not sure what that yellow card was. Unless it was something before we saw that view, but this is Jurgensen. 102.5. And the jury is overruled. There must have been something we didn't see, Joe. Yeah. But uh, Azariah has had that lift overturned. Commands, Martin. Ah. We've seen a bit of that today, haven't we? Certainly have. And uh, we have a red card failure. That's elbow depth on the left hand side, I would say. I think it's just okay. But it's such a marginal call, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard to see the reference points and to, to be really exact with it. The jury aren't no, taking an interest though, so that it's stands. It's not Nuga, it's Torhall's daughter. And she's taking 110. PB of 125. Ah, the jury has overruled that last mm. lift as well. Called for elbow depth or lack thereof. No, that's a good lift, surely. So Hal's not here. She's going to have to make some ground up here, though. No, she's got a yellow as well. So let's see if we can see what the referee saw. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. That's London bus territory, I'm afraid. Well, the uh. book cam takes no prisoners. We have the light shining through, and if you can see clear light through, then that is no lift. And that jury overrule is the least surprising of the whole week, I think. Now, Temi Nuga coming out to take 110 kilos. Amidst the carnage of the red lights, can she get a lift on the board? Well, this is an opportunity for her now. Both of the lifters in front Big of her have missed their openers. Semi's biggest lift in competition is the 115 she did in Malta. Oh, that's good. And she's looking strong for someone who is so sick and missed their last training. And she was plagued with shoulder problems for years, but they're over now. I think the rest has done her good. Yeah, it looks like it. Now, Jada Palma from Italy. 112.5 kilos. Her PB is or was a national record, 118 kilos. You know, it was a Western European record. She did it at the Western Euros. And that's three wide lights. As well as the Europeans, we have a quite a few, actually, competitions that group the European countries together. The Nordic Cup, the Baltic Cup, the Balkan Cup. We have the Western Euros, too. And at the end of the first round, Palmer leads with one 12 and a half from Nuga and Kronborg Haar with three lifters still to register an opener. I can tell you Azariah has gone up with her second. The other two are retaking the lift that they missed. So this is uh, Kirillo. Estonia, 77.5 kilos on the bar. 
for a new personal best. Had to really work. Now the bar waved around a little bit. Hopefully it didn't dip. Oh, it two did. The referees say it did. Yeah, it was very, very slight, but it was there. Now Eleanor Svensson. 92.5 kilos. Good lift, or so it would appear. Well, cold and elbows by the centre referee, and we know what that often means. I think that's okay. It looks okay to me. Of course, the side referee has a very different angle to that. Now, this is uh, Yuriado, the sub junior. The very good sub junior. Looks good. Yeah, a little bit wobbly going towards the top. I would say she should only put another two and a half on there for a third. Starting to run out of up. No, Anna Kronberg Har, one of two lifters from Denmark in this group. Slow off the chest, but once it started moving, it was fast to lock out. And three wide lights. Now, the other Danish lifter, Joe, this is the one that hasn't got a lift on the board yet. Katja Jorgensen. this was elbows? Um, yes, I'm pretty sure it was. Azariah was um, commands. Torrell's daughter. But lift. Butt lift, yeah. And this was elbows. Uh, look good to me. Three white, and three white lights. Jury cannot overturn three white lights or three red lights. They can only get involved on a split decision. Now, Ziana Azariah. Just uh, didn't wait for the commands. But she's gone up to a new personal best. But the, the hundred looked really, really good. It really did. It was very fast. I'm um, sure she won't jump the command again. And she's out in the lead. So I think taking that jump is smart. She can't afford to give any kilos away because it's going to be a close battle at the end. Takes it off herself. Someone shouted, hold it <laughs> from the back of the hall. And she did and gets three white lights. The unmistakable sound of Dylan Nelson in the crowd. Last three lifts in 
It's great. We've had we've got so many lifters in the hall today. I can see deadlift world record holder and a a saying I can see deadlift world record holder Indy Singh. It's great that they're all here supporting their teammates. Yeah, and Dylan's been here all week, so I'm first on the morning of day one. So, need to keep your butt down. Torold's daughter, 110. The lift was easy. Uh, there didn't look to be much movement through the no. lower half of the body there. Yeah, just a little bit more focus. Three white lights now, Teminuga, 115 kilos to equal her personal best. Tohal's dot here though, it's been a difficult one. She gave away a squat, she gave away a bench. So she's in a little bit of trouble now. And she's up against two massive deadlifters. Well, Temi equaled the her squat PB in her second round attempt. This is to be equal her bench press PB on her second round attempt. And that was a new PB in Malta six months ago. Oh, great lift. Just a bit of hesitation towards the top. Three, one lights. Good lift for Three whites. Now, Giada Palma, Italy, 120 kilos, is the last lifter out in the second round. Have we really through two rounds already? It's racing by. a great bench press. Had to put a bit of effort in to get that to the top. Slowed it down quite a bit. I think she's got a bit of headroom. And it's a new PB as well. That that was the Western European and Italian record. 118, but now 120. Into the third round. Wasn't this elbow, jury overturn, second round? I think I'm it was. Not absolutely certain. Yeah, I think one of the side referees gave elbow and the, the jury agreed. Takes it out herself. Oh, I think the bar dipped, you Yeah, know. I think so. <laughs> no, it didn't. It didn't. Fantastic. Three white lights. Must have just stalled out a little bit. Now, Eleanor Svensson, Sweden, taking 95 kilos. That right arm needs to join the party. There we go. And three wide lights. Great battle. Left arm got there first. Right arm got there in the end. 
Uh, Madeline Uriado, 97.5 kilos for the sub junior lifter. She's 17 years old, and if she's still 17 on the 1st of January, she'll be a sub junior next year as well. Her sub junior world record deadlift is 200.5. She's opening today at 192.5, so we could see her push that through. Oh, that's a great battle. Three and three wide legs. Now, uh, Anna Kronborg Har, 100 on the bar, her PB, It's a great lift. Well judged third attempt. Three white lights. One hundred club. Now Ziana Azariah, one hundred and seven point five kilos. Well, she PB'd in the second round with one oh five, and taking it up another two and a half kilos. Just outside the medals in the bench, she won't care a jot about that. It's a good bench yeah, press. Nice. And three wide lights. And I think that was probably where she intended to end up, because although she missed her opener, she went up to five kilos and then another two and a half. So I don't think she's lost any ground there. This is a provisional bench press bronze, and the bar is loaded at one ten for Jorgensen. Katja Jorgensen is taking it up to 110 to come within half a kilo of her personal best. And this will move her from fifth to bronze medal position in bench press. But remember, there are still three lifters to come. No. Just too much. Sorry, that is no lift, just too heavy. 117.5 on the bar now. Kristen Torhals dot here. Now, Kristen Torhals dot here. 117.5 kilos. And this will put her into silver medal position. But Nuga, who is coming after her, is lighter body weight. Guaranteed the bronze at least. Palma has the gold. But she'll want to add kilos to her total, of course. But now we see the battle for silver. This will be disappointing for Tohal's daughter. She did 125 in Malta, but she's missing lifts, so she hasn't got the opportunity to put her biggest numbers up. Oh, that's a good lift. Assuming there's nothing we didn't see as there was in the first. Well, she gets a yellow again. Uh, let's have a look. Well, it wasn't butt lift this no, time. No, no. I don't think she jumped the command. No, I think she'd be fine there. Now, Temi Nuga, this is for a personal best, and this is for a silver medal in bench press. She's guaranteed a medal in bench press, but will it be the bronze she is currently holding, or can she move up to silver?
Oh, wow, that was better than the second. It was. Very impressive today. Fabulous lifting, three white lights. Giada Palma from Italy is the bench press gold medalist. But this is 125. After this, she'll be quite close at subtotal, but she's up against much bigger deadlifters. But every kilo counts, and nothing can be taken for granted. <laughs> just too much it would have been a five kilo personal best she got a new PB in the second round and that was good enough for gold medal and just to very quick well we'll see the uh, replay first which sadly didn't go anywhere and we just check on that Palmer takes the gold with 120 Nuga takes the silver on body weight from Torhol's daughter, both on 117.5 kilos. And we are straight into the 84 plus. And first out is Marit Yurma, 77.5 kilos. She was quite late to the platform there. Well, the speaker just said plenty of time. She hasn't really left herself much time. We just heard the beep for 30 seconds. Of course, she only needs to get the start command. She doesn't need to complete the lift in that time. But I'd still like to see the bar in her hands sometimes. But if she has to re-rack, she's got no chance. She's timed out. Five seconds to go. Mm, at the end of that, a good bench press. Three white lights. Three white lights. Now, Maya Baja from Malta, 80 kilos. She made 87 and a half in Malta. That looks good. Three white lights, good lift for Ma. 100 on the bar now. Ubon from Hungary. Waterhouse, Baltimore. Get ready. Bar loaded. 100 yeah. kilos. Ubon, Ubon from, from Hungary. Hungary. Well, I've never seen anyone squat so fast. Will she bench to a similar tempo? We'll soon see. I think we've managed to get her name swapped around on good lift. So it's Ubong Idem. Wow. Fast, fast, fast. And don't forget, if you want to follow the score sheet of the competition, because powerlifting is a numbers game, go to goodlift.info, and we have the live score sheet right there. Now, Christina Waterhouse. She's opening on 102.5 kilos. <laughs> I 
Wow. Three wide lights. So, Annalena Belkvist from Sweden, 110 kilos. Followed it. 110 kilos, Annalena Belkvist, Sweden. She did 125 in Malta. Oh, that was easy. So she might take a big jump up from here now. Now, Sonita Mulu taking 125 kilos. She had an easy day on squats today, only 275, and she moved that weight so quickly. Benched 142.5 in Malta. Such a phenomenal lifter. I was looking up the bench record in this class, but of course it's Amelie Miege with 163. Don't think we'll get close to that today. No, I don't think so, but that's three, three wide, wide lights, lights for Muller. Well, she's got the biggest squad and the biggest deadlift. She can't have the biggest bench as well. Just wouldn't be fair, was it? I remember Claire Patterson beating her to the bronze medal last year in oh Poland. Wow. Uh, Claire hit 140, the magic 140, for the first time. Greetings, Claire, and all your Irish compatriots if you're watching this back at home. Hope you're enjoying the coverage we're bringing you from Tartu in Estonia. This is uh, Matilda Yella. 140 kilos on the bar to end the first round. PB 155. That's good. Three white lights. And at the end of the first round, Yella leads with 140 kilos. Mulu is second with 125. Oh, Belfast no, third, no, 110 no, kilos. And we are into the second round, and it's Marit Yurma, and she is going to 82.5 kilos for her second round attempt to equal her PB. She's there a little bit quicker than she was the last time. It's always worth being out on the platform as soon as you're able. If you get any problems, as you say, if you're asked to re-rack the bar because they're not happy with your start position, then those, those seconds tick down very quickly. Looks good. Three white lights and she's equaled her PB. And if she goes two and a half kilos more next time, she'll have a new one. And uh, Maya Vaha from Malta, 85 kilos. And she is a gym owner. Oh, that's good. 
be wiped out. Another two and a half kilos next time when she leaves with a new personal best. Now, Edom Yubong from Hungary, 102.5. Only going up two and a half kilos, but this will equal her personal best. Great lift. Flipped the rack but didn't let it throw her off. Now Christina Waterhouse. 107.5 on the bar. Within three kilos of her personal best. Bar's loaded. 107.5 kilos. Waterhouse, Switzerland. Good. Three one five. Good lift for Waterhouse. One seventeen point five and above. Annalena Belkvist of Sweden. No, Annalena Belkvist. Three lifts in round two. Bar loaded. One seventeen point five kilos. Belkvist, Sweden. good not sure she looked to the right before she racked not sure did she clip the rack or not no Sonita Mulu 135 kilos future of European 84 plus powerlifting and possibly world as well if she continues to develop as she has. Well she pulled for the winning Malta and just missed it by a fraction of yeah. lockout. Super easy. Lovely. No, Matilda Yella, 150 kilos to take her within five kilos of her personal best. Mulu's not going to make a big jump, so if she gets this, I think we can hang the gold medal in bench round her neck. I think Mulu could make a big jump, but you just get the sense she's not going to today. Yeah, I think she's going to do what she needs to do to win. Treat it as a, a heavy training day. Projected a long, long way out in front. Of course, Matilda, she benched 155 in Malta. Looks good. Three white lights. Well, that's bench gold because Mulu has gone 142.5 for her third round attempt. 
and we will have a quick look at the scoreboard after we see this replay and you can see Yala leads with 150 and that is good enough for the gold Mulu is in second place 135 Belkvist third 117.5 kilos and this is Marit Jorma Estonia 85 kilos for a new personal best he called it in the second round and this to go two and a half kilos more. You know, she... <laughs> She's still going. Oh, wow. wow. What a grind. You don't often see bench grinds like that. I worry about the hip movement I saw there. She oh, she gets it. Three white lights. What a fantastic battle. Wow. No, Maya. Baja from Malta. This for a personal best of 90 kilos. 90 kilos, 198 pounds, just short of Magic 200. And again, she had to really work for it. That looks good. That's a PB, and that attempt selection was bang on. Now, Idem Ubong from Hungary, 105 kilos. Is this for a new personal best? Wow. That was the easiest PB you'll see today. Three white lights. Now Waterhouse. Four more lifts and then the morning bench press is over. And we'll be taking a 10 minute break and then come back for the deadlift which promises to be spectacular, particularly in the under 84 kilo class. <laughs> oh, good bench. Really nice third attempt. Well, for all intents and purposes, she equaled her PB, which was 110.5. Now, Annalena Belkvist, she's going 122.5. This will leave her just two and a half kilos short of her PB if she gets it. She jumped the press command. I think she did, we unless it was epidemic. super fast. We have an epidemic yeah. of jumping commands today. I think it was the press command that she jumped. It's just touch and go. It's what you do in the gym. Now, this is uh, Sonita Mulu. This will actually equal her PB. I'm sure she's gone on 
since she set this PB, but uh, she's happy to equal it today. <laughs> this will give her a subtotal of 417.5. Yeah, one forty two and a half was from Malta. Great bench press. Three white lights. And the last bench press of the morning, also the last bench press of the 2023 Ladies Championships is Yala from Sweden and she is going 155 kilos to equal her personal best. This will give her a 375 subtotal. No, just not today. Your biggest lifts aren't always available every single day, but of course we can't move the competition if you're not feeling it today. And we just see the replay. She got a move in, but not by much, and just hit the wall. So we can see Yala takes gold in the bench press with 150. Mulu takes silver, 142.5. Belkvist takes the bronze, and in totals, Mulu well ahead, 417.5 with a big deadlift to follow. Hiala, uh, pretty comfortable in second place, 370, but then Belkvist only 10 kilos further behind on 360. Will she close the gap or will it widen? Join us again in 10 minutes' time to find out.
and welcome back to the 2023 European Open Classic Powerlifting Championships in Tartu in Estonia. We're with the under and over 84s in the final day of competition and you can see from the uh, screen in front of you that uh, the winner of the bench press was Torrell's daughter at 117 point sorry no it's that's it was uh, Palmer yeah it was Palmer um, ah it's the total we're looking at now yeah um, the totals Torrell's daughter leads 332.5 ahead of the two Britons who have huge deadlifts so we are in for a really really exciting conclusion to this class which is running back to back with the 84 plus which He's will follow so Tohal's daughter is giving away quite a lot on a deadlift only she's giving away 25 kilos to azariah and 17 and a half to nuga so we're going to see those positions reverse very quickly after the first round of deadlifts presuming everything goes well Now the first one out is Sylvia Kirilov from Estonia, 145 kilos. And we have a sub-junior opening at 190 and the sub-junior record is 200.5, that's the European. Well, and the European and, the world, and world, yeah. yeah. And that's her record. But first, Kirilov, 145. <laughs> and the referees say the good lift, three white lights. Now, Anna Kronborg Haar from Denmark, 177.5. Quite like the Estonian lifter, just to keep hold of the bar. Yeah, do you know, I thought yeah. the same thing. I didn't like to say, but that's why I hesitated before the lights came up. I wondered, did she let go a fraction too soon? Now, we saw on the replay she did have hold of it to the bottom, but uh, live the first time around, I wasn't sure. It but if it creates the impression that she has, and that's enough for a referee on many occasions. But this is Kronberg Carr. Looks good. <laughs> now, Yuriado. Her PB is 205, 200.5, which is the world sub junior record. But she put her opening attempt down, Martin. It was at 192.5. She put it down to 190. So I guess the interesting thing is, first of all, does she get it? It's a huge weight. And secondly, if she does, how much is left? And the answer Quite is a lot. lot. <laughs> oh boy. Now, of course, she can't chip a sub-junior record in an open competition. If she did want the record, she would have to go to 202.5. I'd expect her to step up towards it though, maybe go 197 and a half next. Eleanor Spenson, 197.5. Looks good. And three wide lights. Now, Jada Palma, Italia, 202.5. Her PB is 218.5.
Looks good. Snappy lock out there. Three wide lights. Katja Jurgensen. Denmark and greetings to all our friends in Denmark who will be watching this on Saturday morning. Hope you're enjoying the competition and the coverage. Looks like a deadlift base on the profile picture. Certainly does. So 205, our PV is 225. This is hopefully just get an easy one on the board. That's exactly what she does. Now, Kristen Torholz, dear. 205 kilos. PB 237.5. Competition's not been going her way today, but that was a nice, easy opener. Two lifters to go in the first round, both British. First up is Teminuga, 222.5 kilos. Temi had the biggest deadlift in British powerlifting before 2021, I think. Sophia Ellis took it, then it went to Ziana, and then it went to Erolove and back to Ziana. So we've been passing that huge deadlift around for a while now. She pulled 240 in Malta. But this could be where being ill for a couple of weeks takes it, its toll on her yeah. ability to carry enough energy through to the end of the competition. But that was a good lift, three wide lights. Now Ziana Azariah, 230 kilos. This will give her 557.5 five, and a 17 and a half kilo lead over Nuga and a 20 kilo lead oh, over Torhal's daughter. Biggest deadlifting competition so far was in Malta with 247 and a half. British record is currently with Erolo. I will love Isabodo John at 253. So I have to take some big jumps to get close to that today. Oh, wow. And she's made a statement there. Three white lights. Good lift to see. Everyone's got one in the first round. Here we go. And solid column of green in the first round of the deadlift. Everyone makes a total. And we can see that Azariah leads with a very, very comfortable 230. Nuga second, 222.5 that she had to work a little bit harder for. Jorgensen in third place with 205 on body weight from Tor Hals Dartier. Into the second round. So that puts Azariah ahead with 5.57.5 of from Nuga with 5.40, just ahead of Tohal's dot here, 5.37.5. And, and I can tell you that Yuriado is going for the World Sub Junior record. On her second. On her second, 2.02.5 on the bar. The record currently 200.5, but this is the other Estonian, also still a junior, Kirillov, 150 to equal her personal best. Oh. 
had to put some effort she's in. She's letting yeah, go I, of I that I too soon again. I just she's really getting it. Let's just watch the replay. I think her hands are on the bar when it hits the floor. And but I wouldn't coach thing. that. I just wouldn't coach anyone to do that. It is, but it's just yeah. creating the impression that it's not. Now, Kronborg Haar from Denmark won 87.5 to equal her personal best. 10 kilo increase from her opener. Nicky Lenz hasn't been lifting this week, but he's been here since day one coaching the Danish team. Tends to be an equipped lifter. And that is a good lift, three white lights. Here we have Uriado. And this is for a world sub junior record in the second round. So the refer the jury member from Sweden sits in a side referee for the record attempt. And here we go. Marilyn Uriado for a world sub junior record attempt in only the second round. And it's not the the record isn't very old either. She set it in October in Budapest. Wow. And that is a new world sub junior record. Marilyn Nuriado, Estonia. Now, Eleanor Svensson from Sweden. How quickly we have to come down from a world record to take the next lift. Svensson is going 205 kilos. PB is Ported well to the top. Three white lights, good lift. And Spencer. three white lights. 212.5 on the bar now for Chiara Palma of Italy. Jorgensen, door on top here. Chiara Palma from Italy, 212.5 kilos. PV 218.5. Uriado's gone all the way up to 2.15. Wow. Oh, that's a good, strong deadlift as well. And three wide lights. Now, Jurgensen, 217.5. After this, the top three will battle it out. Yeah, she has to be deadlifting when that picture's taken. That's probably her team teasing her a bit. Looks good. And three white lights. Three more lifts in the second round. Torhals Dottir is first. 
220. This will put her from third to second in total and from sixth to third in deadlift. It's a chunky increase though, 205 to 220. She's pulled 240, 242 thereabouts in her last few competitions. That was good. Three white lights. That gets her ahead of Temi Nuga for the moment, but Temi's straight out to take Literally it back. Literally for the moment, because the next one out is Nuga. She's going two, three, five. She was an international 100 and 200 meter runner before she switched to powerlifting. All those fast twitch fibers, great for the deadlift. We do find quite a lot of sprinters and throwers come into the competition from athletics, into the sport. Here we go, two, three, five. Now that looks good, but it also looks like a limit lift. It's close to it. And it's three wide lights. This is Ziana Azariah next. She's already leading in total. This will extend it po possibly somewhere where she can't be caught. This for five, six, two. This will put her 10 kilos ahead of Nuga. And that's assuming they make their third lifts. Best total so far is 557.5. So we're going to breeze past that today, yeah. presuming this all goes well. And she's only two and a half kilos below her current best deadlift. But her opener flew. So this will put her 20 kilos ahead in summary. Oh, oh, wow. So that look on her face at the top, yes. You know, I think she's got enough of a gap that she might uh, go for a national record in the third. 255, I think so. That will take back the mantle of the biggest deadlift in British powerlifting, regardless of weight class. For now. <laughs> Until but you, you know it's going to keep getting swapped. So here we are at the end of uh, two rounds. Azariah 245, Nuga 235, Torrell's daughter 220, Jorgensen 270. And in total, you can see Azariah is 20 kilos ahead of both Nuga and Torrell's daughter, who will battle for the silver. But you know, I think the Icelandic lifter had a little bit more left in the tank than Nuga. Nuga looked close to her limit. Everything to play for. Oh, it's a, it's a European record, of course yep. it is. So uh, Ziana Azariah can chip the 253.5 because it's, the, it's Errol Love's European record. Oh, great battle by Kirillov. <laughs> Little bit wobbly as it went past the knees. Having a little bit of difficulty with their referee's lights. Yeah, can we go flags, please? So don't hold up your flag until the center referee says so. There we go. Three white lights in the good lift. So it's three white lights. One, nine, Not the time for the lights to break down, is it? So Anna Kronberg Haar from Denmark, 192.5 for a new personal best. We 
reset, please, reset. We're just trying to make sure the lights are correct before the next lifter comes on the stage. And is it increased anxiety or is it just more recovery time? It's hard when you're ready to come out and you think the bar's loaded, it is hard to stand there. If you damp it down too much, you haven't got the, the height to come out. But you can't maintain that height forever. I'm not sure these lights have been fully reset. Yes, they have now. All should be well. So after a slight delay, this is Anna Kronberg Haar from Denmark for a new personal best of 192.5 and a new total PB as well of 470. Big lift for her. She fights it, she fights it. And that should be good. Wow, that's a perfectly judged third attempt. Three wide lights and a double PB, deadlift and total. Remember, we still have a world sub junior record attempt and a European open record attempt to go in this round. We've already seen a world sub junior record in this group. This is Eleanor Svensson. 210 kilos. Haven't had the biggest Swedish team here this week. Come in, they shout from the audience. But it would not break the floor. Here we go, Joe. World sub junior record attempt number two. And in total, this will take the total record oh, as well. Oh, wow. This, if will extend that record. this will be a sub junior deadlift and a Europe world sub junior deadlift. European sub junior total record for the young lady from Eastie, Estonia. You know I've stopped counting how many records this is for. World and European sub junior deadlift, uh, European sub junior total, and the crowd screams its encouragement. That total record currently with Rebecca Reiner, Germany. Set in Budapest, Hungary at 470.5. This will add two kilos to it. Huge weight. She's got it moving. No. But a grip went. Well, she got him moving. Great that try. Was well worth a try. And say, unless her birthday's in the next couple of weeks, she's still going to be a sub junior next year. Now, she was born in 06. She'll still be a sub junior next year. 06 seems like yesterday. Now, Jada Palma, 220 kilos. This to move into bronze medal position in deadlift with lifters to follow, of course. Great final pull there. And if that's good, it's a PB in deadlift and in total. Three and yes, it is. Three wide lights. Katja Jorgensen from Denmark. Making a big jump up to 230. This will put her into bronze medal position. In fact, unless there's a change, it will give her the bronze medal because she is lighter than Torhol's daughter. Who would have to go up to 232.5. And she can do, she's the higher lot number. Stop, stop. 
No. Oh, oh what a to fantastic go. fight. <laughs> that characteristic look at her, her hand. How dare you betray me. But her left hand was just slipping. And she couldn't finish this off. Now, Torhold's daughter. This to move into third place in deadlift and into silver medal position overall. Now, if she pulls this, I think she may have forced Nuga into attempting more than she can do in order to come past, but to Halsdott here has got to pull it first. And she no, hasn't. No, no, no. She finishes third. Wow. Well, that gives us two Brits at the top steps of the podium. This is Temi Nuga with two, four, five. And she is... I can see her bouncing in the doorway. She's well, ready. Well, she's the silver medalist overall. This is to move into gold medal position in deadlift. Well, she's got a reasonably good deadlifter <laughs> giving her last minute advice. She has one coach each to pluck out an earbud. <laughs> this more is five kilos more than she's ever done on the more platform fired before. up than she's been all day. But it's a big ask. Her second was tough. But I know she's a fighter and she's got some grind. No. It was a big ask, but you know what? She has done really well here today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have one lift left in this class, and then we go to the super heavyweight ladies. But what we Final lift in the under 84s. Five kilos for a European record for Ziana Azariah. Ziana Azariah is already the European champion. She is already the deadlift gold medalist. This is for the European Open deadlift record as well. She's already taken the British total record from Atra Love. This to take her European record deadlift. And this is to push her total to 581 kilos. And she's only been competing for three years. Based on the 245. It looked good. It looked fast. Wow. Oh, she has smashed that out of the ballpark. She has so much more to give. Three wide lights. New European record. European champion. And she takes back the mantle of the biggest deadlifter in British powerlifting. And just to confirm the totals, that's all we've got time for before we move on. Uh, Azariah, 581. Nuga, 552.5. Silver medal. Toral's daughter, 552.5. Bronze medal on body weight. But I can also see that she was only 1.5 kilos off Agatha Shitko's European total record. That's amazing. Wow. And as we say, she's been competing for three years. Where is she going to be this time next year? There's a big deadlift in her near future. And we move on to the 84 plus. And this is the last women's competition of this wonderful championships. And it's Maya Vaha from Malta, 150 kilos. And that's a good start. Three white lights. Now Christina Waterhouse from Switzerland, 165 kilos. Makes that look easy. No drama at all. Estonia. 
Now, Marat Yurma from Estonia is coming out to take 170 kilos. Only seven lifters in this. We will be through it in no time at all. Oh, that was quick. Fantastic. Three wide lights. Now, Idem Yubong from Hungary, 185 kilos. We've been impressed with the speed of our squats and our benches. Can we expect anything different in the deadlift? I suspect not. Maybe not quite as fast as a squat. But I thought she was just going to take a couple of seconds, get the grip right, and no, as soon as she touched the bar, it was moving. Now, Matilda Yala. It's actually Yala, not Yala. 200 kilos. PB 215. That was a 215 she did in Malta. That's a good lift. Three white lights. Three white lights. Yeah, Belfast. 215. Belfast's PB, 235. That was from Poland last year. Yeah, she was one of the ones in that great battle. Looks good. That's a good lift. Three white lights for Belfast. Two, three, seven point five. Now Sunita Mulu. Two, three, seven point five for her opener. PB is two, six, two point five. relaxed she is. I can I just can say she ambles out to the bar with a smile on her face. This to be European champion. Now she missed two sixty seven and a half for the win in Malta, but she did two sixty two and a half at the silent worker meet in France. And with that lift she defends her title. Three white lights. And at the end of one round of deadlifts, Mulu leads with 237.5. Belkfist in second place with 215. Yala is third with 200. And we move into the second round. It's close for silver and bronze, though. We're projecting at 582.5 and, and 585 with Belkfist ahead. Yeah, if they both make their second rounds at deadlifts, there will only be 2.5 kilos between them. And Yella is the lighter. Bit of a difficult one, still ki 10 kilos below what she did in Malta. Three white lights. Christina Waterhouse next, 175 kilos.
Looks good. And three Your wide lines. Jorma from Estonia. Next up, 182.5 kilos. Followed it, 182.5 kilos, Jurda, Estonia. Good. A little bit of work to do to pull it back into lockout. But it's a five kilo PB, 182.5, and she joins the 400 pound club. Now, Idem Ubong from Hungary, 195 kilos, five kilos short of her personal best. But it'll give her a total of 495, and that will be a two and a half total PB with one lift remaining. And that should be good, yes, three wide lights. Should have said at the end of the first round, a uh, solid column of green, so everyone makes a total. Uh, Matilda Yella. Into the top three, and she's taking two twelve point five, which would put her to five eight point five, and into second place overall. But Belkvist will come back with a lift that would take her to five eight five. Belkvist, of course, is the heavier, so she has to stay two and a half kilos ahead of Yella. That's a great lift. Three wide lights. Now Belkvist responds with 225 kilos. This would put her to 585, two and a half kilos ahead of Yala, both with one lift remaining. And remember, lifters can make two changes in attempt in third round deadlift. This is Belkvist to move back into silver medal position. Uh, I think there might have been some dip of the bar there. Wait to see. Whatever, she seemed close to her limit. She gets it two to one. See Bjorn Astad on the. Uh, jury I think it went down. It. Yeah, I think it's going to be overturned. But all three jury members have to agree in order to Yes, the yes, jury is have. overruled, and it's a blue overrule for downward movement of the bar, which means that uh, Yella is in silver medal position now. But look at this, Martin. Um, Sunita has gone all the way up to 257 and a half. The European record in deadlift is 260.5. So she's really close to that. Wow. Two thirty-seven and a half for her opener was effortless though. She just seems limitless right now. Tough lock out there. And uh, referees say three wide lights. So fast off the floor, but quite a bit of effort just yeah. to. I think get it the all European the way record's probably there for the taking if she wants it. So, at the end of the second round, we can see in deadlift Muller leads from Belkvist and Yella.
and more importantly in total Mulo is a mile clear uh, Yella is in second place Belkfist third you know considering uh, yeah, Sunita is not going to come out for a third considering that she hasn't been pushing her, her top lift she's finished on 675 her top was 688.5 so she wasn't that far off no she wasn't and she never had to get fired up either did she it was serene Just progress. Just a training day. Yeah. So this is Vaha. For a no, no, not quite. That would have been the PB. And Christina Waterhouse is taking 187.5. And this will be a two kilo personal best for her. And of course, Mula, by electing not to take it, doesn't rush anyone else because she was the last out anyway. Just means we don't have to build up to something that doesn't happen. Oh, it's a great pull. That's a PB if she gets it. And three white lights. Happy skip. Now, Marit Yurma. 190 kilos. This for a big personal best as well. Big, big PB on home soil. Oh, she's finished it, I think. That was a great uh, deadlift. She looks anxiously at the lights. It's three white lights. New deadlift PB, new total PB. Now, Idem Ubong from Hungary. 200 kilos to match her personal best in deadlift but it will put her to 500 total for the first time 5 kilo total PB if she equals her deadlift PB and she is 4th in the European Championships in both deadlift and total this lift will change neither position We're looking at each other and it's good. Three white lights. Now we are into the silver medal battle. First up is Yella. 220 to put her to 590. And Belkvist has a placeholder. Well, Belkvist has what she needs to win silver if Yala makes this lift. But based upon Belkvist's second, I would say this, this is for silver in total. Oh, it's a great lift. Yeah, it looks like she's got it. And I think we're too far ahead, but this is powerlifting. Nothing is certain. Belkvist, with the last lift of women's competition, will come back with 232.5. If she gets it, remember she missed 225 second round. If she gets it, it will put her to 592.5, and she will take overall silver. 
So for deadlift silver and overall silver, Annalena Belkvist, 232.5 kilos. And look who's encouraging her, Yella. Amazing, this sport. The Cameron Redwee in powerlifting is unmatched. Can she do seven and a half kilos more than she couldn't do in the second round? Can she fire herself up for one final effort? It's moving, but no, she can't get it past the knees. What a brave attempt. She put what she needed to do on the bar, gave it a try, and that's the best you can ask of anyone. And let's quickly summarize after we've seen that brave attempt. So in deadlift, uh, Sonita Mulu takes gold with 257.5. Yala takes silver with 220. Belkvist takes bronze with 215. And the European champion 2023 is Sonita Mulu, Belgium, 675 kilos. Matilda Yala from Sweden takes the silver with 590. Annalena Belkvist, also from Sweden, takes the bronze 575 and uh, Ubong is in fourth place and she hits 500 for the very first time that's the end of the women's competition at these championships please stay with us for the uh, medal ceremonies that will commence in a couple of minutes time very final session of this wonderful championships is at 2.30 this afternoon Eastern European time and that will be the men's 120 plus whatever you do don't miss it
Olympic participation medals will be presented by Bjorn Astad and Kero Heikinen. So if you can uh, start to have them out, gentlemen. The standout for me is seeing a European sub junior record. That is super impressive, especially in front of all these cheering Eastly fans. That was super good. Tommy Topi Nuga! This side, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, this one. Squat Silver with 215 kilos goes to Iceland's Kristen Borhausen of the year. Squat gold with 220 kilos goes to Great Britain's Ziana Azariah. <laughs> Great job, ladies. Thank you. And now to bench press. Bench press bronze with 117.5 kilos goes to Iceland's Kristin Thorhausdottir. <laughs> Bench press silver also with 117.5 goes to Great Britain's Temi Nuga. <laughs> and Bench press gold with 120 Italy's Giada Palma. Well done, ladies. Great job. Thank you. And now to deadlift. In bronze medal position with 220 kilos from Italia, Giada Palma. Deadlift silver with 235 kilos goes to Great Britain's Temi Topi Nuga. And deadlift gold with that record of 253.5 goes to Great Britain's Ziana Azariah. Great job, thank you. And now to the overall, and to crown the new 84 kilo European champion in bronze medal position with 552.5, it's Iceland's Kristen Turhausdottir.
Overall silver, also with 5.5, 2.5, it is Great Britain's Tammy Topi Dunga. Which means that your 84 kilo European champion with a total of 581 kilos from Great Britain, it's Sierra. Gentlemen, please be upstanding for the national anthem of Great Britain. Well done, ladies. A battle to the finish. Okay, thank you. And it is now time for, to do the same for the uh, 84 plus ladies. So, individual lifts first of all. In squat, the bronze medal with 220 kilos goes to Sweden's Matilda Yale. Squat silver with 242.5 kilos goes to Sweden's Anna Lena Belfist. And squat gold with 275 kilos goes to Belgium's Sunita Muller. Great job, ladies. Great battles. Thank you. And now to bench press. In bronze medal position with 117.5 kilos from Sweden, it is Anna Lena Belfist. Bench press silver with 142.5 kilos, it's Belgium's Sunita Muller. Bench press gold with 150 kilos. It's Sweden's Matilda Yalla. Great job, ladies. Thank you. And now to deadlift. In bronze medal position with 215 kilos, it's Sweden's Anna Lena Belfist. Can you get your steps in, ladies? Deadlift silver with 220 kilos goes to Sweden's Matilda Yalla. And deadlift gold with 257.5 kilos. It's Belgium's Sunita Bulo. Thank you ladies. And now for the overall and to crown the 84 plus European champion. In bronze medal position with 575 kilos from Sweden, Anna Lena Belkvist. Overall silver with 590.
In Sweden's Matilda Yalla. Which means that your 84 plus European champion with 675 kilos from Belgium, it is Queen Sunita Muller. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the national anthem of Belgium. Great job, ladies, thank you. If you would, once you've finished hugging, all the time in the world, ladies, for that.